Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hope you're ready for the week because it's Monday and we're looking at Genesis 17. Uh, now, before we get to the text and talk about it, what makes you laugh? I, I confess, I find humor everywhere. I think animals are funny. I think people are funny. I think kids and grandkids are hilarious. Uh, I hope your spouse makes you laugh. Uh, I know that Meralda and I are always laughing with each other and a lot of times at each other, uh, especially as we get older. But that, that's been a mark of our marriage is that we find humor in day-to-day -day life and we laugh together. Proverbs says, a cheerful heart is good medicine. A cheerful heart is good medicine. Look, God is the one who created laughter. God is the one who created humor. And in case you missed it, joy is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So... Uh, Laugh, but don't laugh at God. So our story today is Genesis chapter 17 and 18. Uh, it's the story of the promise of Isaac being born to Abraham and Sarah. Now, uh, God told them you're going to have a child, and, and Abraham was old, Sarah was old, Sarah was past menopause, and they both laughed at God's promise. You know, Sarah said, how can I, you know, being old, I, I'm, I'm dried up, my womb's gone, and you think I'm going to have a baby? And, and what happened was, a year later, she gave birth to Isaac. In other words, God kept his promise, even though they laughed at him. Uh, so, believe God's promises. Let me say that again. I want you to believe what God says in his word. We want you to read the Bible, but we also want you to believe the Bible and apply it to your life. And, and you're not going to apply the word of God to your life unless you believe in God's promises. And his promises are true. His, his word is trustworthy. And he means it not just in the general sense, but in the personal sense for your life. So you can trust God's word. So... Today, I pray that God fills you with joy and delight so that you can laugh easily and often. And I also pray today that God fills you with faith so that you can trust God easily with his promises. I hope that helps and I hope that blesses you. Have a great day, Calvary.